Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix left 4 dead 2 is having crashing issue, it is not plunging or warm launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the work now. The first one we have to always start with a simple restart. Sometimes, you know, you have to try with the restart that can fix the issue. So just, just as a basic step, try a restart. So just go over here in this particular icon. Now from here, go to this particular icon over here and do a restart. Once a restart is done, just try launching the game. Make sure we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are in the Steam. So launching the from the Steam might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installer file. And as you can see, the game is installed on local disk B. So what we need to do is just remove everything, go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to left for dead to open this. And right now you can see this is the application. So we need to launch the game from here. So try launching the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. Next one, we need to game, run the game as an administrator and so we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click and we have to go to show more option, go to the properties, go to just click it once again, right click, oh, not this one, just right click, go to show more option, go to the properties, go to compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. First, set this to Windows 7 and go to the apply. Make sure we have to set this to Windows 8 and go for apply and go for OK. Make sure we have to just go away with show more option. Go to the properties, compatibility. Click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once it is set, just close this and we have to try launching the key. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to do one thing we just need to if the game files are saved we need to delete it so just go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to the documents folder over here you can see we have folder for dead space 2023 rockstar if you go to my games we'll be having folder for path of exile 2 so we'll be having similar folder for left for dead 2 so if you have the folder just delete it we'll be losing all the provisions of the game but that is fine next one we need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. We have to search for the control panel. Now just click on system and security. Go to Windows Defender Firewall. Go to allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to left 4 dead 2. Now we can see left 4 dead 2 is added. Make sure you have to put a check on both the boxes. Boxes, private and public. Once it is marked or checked, you have to find with it. If you don't have the game here, the .exe is not able to find here, which means we need to add it by from our end. So just click on the change setting, go to allow another app, go to the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, go to left for dead two, scroll down and select this one, and we need to add it. So I'm getting the error because the in .txe is already added. So this is how we can add it. And once it is added, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do after allowing the game to Windows security. We just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, external joysticks might be connected. External keyboard might be connected or external any other peripherals might be connected. So these will be causing the issue regarding the crashing and all those things or you'll be having another issue. So it is quite important that we just need to unplug everything. So just unplug everything and afterwards try launching the key. Next one after unplugging is done, we just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. So we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration and we have to click on this one and just go over here and we'll be getting this box. So just click on the services, go to disable or go to hide all Microsoft services, go to apply and go for OK. Now we have to do a restart. So once a restart is done, just try launch the key. Stay if you're having the trouble. After trying with this, if you're having the trouble, you're not able to fix it. We just need to move to the next one. That is all about next one. 
what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so to do this just go over here in the game right click go to the properties make sure enable the steam overlay while in game if it is turned on turn this off and try launching the game still if you're having that trouble just go over here give the command that we need to give few commands to the launch option so the first one is the x11 and you have to save and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 if dx12 is also not working you try it with the dx12 and dx12 if it's still if it's not working just go over here fire b3 b2 this might work in most cases if none of these are working just remove everything keep it blank and you have to close this and move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so we just need to go over here search for the graphic settings click on this one and we just need to allow the game to over here so we need to click on add desktop app now just go over here go to this pc go to local disk installation folder steam library steam apps comment now if we may go to left for dead two so just select this one and now scroll down this is the application so just add it once added just scroll down and you'll be able to find the game so left for dead two will be here so as you can see so just click on this one and you can see the gpu preferences by default it is let windows decide change this to high performance and once it is changed into high performance just go at over here at the top close this and go back and try launching the key next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for build advanced system second just click on this one now go to the advanced go to the settings advanced go to the change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk so over here as you can see the local disk is d now go to the initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and we have a maximum size that is three times the total RAM. so just go over here i need to type the calculator so we need to type here so the ram of computer first you need to type the ram so in my case the ram of my computer 16 gb and type your app and it should be multiplied with a constant value 1024 which is the same for every bar and now we'll be getting your value just multiply it with 1.5 so that is we get this particular value because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. just do the calculation once again just type your ram 16 gb multiplied with 104 and you have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this particular value and we have to paste it now once every value is being set just close this and try launching the key stay if you're having the trouble the next one after trying with the stay if you're having the trouble the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics file so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this which is for the nvda users so right now i'm on the page on the nvda so right now i have already selected everything according to my pc's configuration just select 16 series over here if you run the 16 series gtx 1650 because mine is 1650 and i'm running on the windows 11 as you can see now go for fine so give all the details like this and you have to go for fine and right now you can see this is what it happens and the driver version is 566.36 and we have to download this one make sure if you're on the amd just go over here to the graphics select this one and go to the 5000 series now just go over here and go to the submit so you'll be getting this option if you're on the windows 11 download this one for the amd users and if you're on the windows 10 you have to download this one and once afterwards what we need to do is we just need to read next step that is all about try installing the microsoft visual c plus first and you have to go to this particular page and scroll down and navigate to x64 if the system is based on x64 and if the system is based on x86 download this one after trying with this if you're still having the trouble we need to try a few more steps that is we have to try two important steps which is very most important one is we need to verify the game file so just go okay to the game right click and go to the properties go to the installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this is gonna take a little bit of time because you know this is gonna cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so if you are neglecting this you'll be having the trouble because if files are corrupted will you be having an issue with these so it is quite important that we need to verify the game file so what i'm gonna do is just because we need to wait because i'm gonna show you a bunch of steps that can be done so just wait for this one
Now, as you can see, we have validated. So just close this and try Junji the game. Now, the last and the least, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And you have to reinstall it back. So you should not be installing it back on the same locky disk from which you uninstall. You have to try a new locky disk. So the game is right now on this. So I have to try either T or C, not D. So these are the possible workarounds. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And you have to let this know in the comment sections if you have any doubts. Have a nice day. Bye bye.